This video is going to show you how to set up groups in your D2L course. Groups can be very helpful if you have content that you only want to release to certain students in your course, or if you want to allow your students to collaborate in small groups rather than with the class as a whole. To set up groups, you go to the group screen for your D2L course, either here via the collaboration menu or from the edit course menu. On the Manage Groups page, you click the New Category button. You have to set up a category of groups, for example, Final Project Groups, before you can set up the individual groups themselves. Here you'll see a form where you give your category a name and description, which is all pretty straightforward, but I'm going to focus here on this Enrollment Type menu, which is going to have a huge impact on how your groups are set up. You can see the default option here is to set a number of groups with no auto enrollments, which means you're going to have to assign students to the group manually. However, you can also have D2L auto enroll students in groups for you randomly, or you can allow the students to sign up in their groups depending on these various options here. To do this, you'll select one of the other options from the enrollment type menu. Once you've made your selection here, then you'll have to set either the number of groups or the number of students per group in this area. Then you can set up some additional options for your group. For example, you might want to give your groups a discussion area, a locker, or a Dropbox. Once you have everything on this page the way you want it, click Save. Now you can see the groups that you've created. If you elected to manually enroll students in your groups, which is what I did in this example, you'll need to make those enrollments now. To enroll students in groups, select Enroll Users from the drop-down menu following the name of your group category. This will take you to a screen where you can assign your students to groups as desired. Note that your groups can contain one student, a few students, or even your entire class if you like, and students can belong to more than one group. Once you're done here, click Save. Now you can see the group members here. I can use this menu here to go from group category to group category, and my students will be able to access their group resources via the groups link on the collaboration menu. You also have the option to use release conditions to provide specific content or activities just to a single group now that you have the group set up.